All right, welcome back to Saznopka. We are going to go and spend a whole bunch of money again to get started. Let's, uh, real quick, before we do anything, let's take a look and see what we're, we got going on here. Or we have, what do we have? We've got some barley, some corn, all growing. Uh, the poplars aren't doing anything special. They're going to take a while. Let's go take a real quick look so you can see that there is a difference now. They have grown some leaves. They'll only get maybe a little bit higher, and then they'll just all turn to brown, so all the leaves will be gone when it's ready to harvest. But we're going to go spend a bunch of money over on some logging equipment, some forestry equipment. So let's just go to the shop right now and do that. And what I'm going to do is initially I hadn't thought about cutting off, cutting anything off in the forest, but I think we will, and then uh, we'll just replant trees up there. That'll work. That'll work just fine. So let's step into the shop, talk to the businessman. So the first thing we're going to get is some forestry equipment by the likes of the Scorpion King, the Scorpion King. Big time money, but we're going to make it back. So we tr about 20 trees, 12 to 20 trees, I think, will probably get us about $100,000. Uh, so we'll be able to pay for this fairly quickly. Um, and it's going to give us a readily available amount or something to do when we're waiting on grass to grow or for our own crops to grow. Um, we will go standard because Trax is just, it just took the wheels, one or two of the tires and stretched it out. I think we look terrible actually. So we'll get that. So that's a big chunk of change right there. And we're going to need, uh, oh wait, we're going to need some logs. Wide tires, of course. We don't need that. Um, yeah, let's go with the protection. That's a good idea. We don't want the main color to be white, though. Let's go with that. Maybe a silver color like that and the rims like that. And we'll take that. And the last thing we'll have to do, because I don't think I have one, is we'll need a chainsaw. Oh uh, boy, take your pick, right? How about, um, we'll go with a steel over here. Oh wait. Oh, I already have one? So it's already have a chainsaw. Maybe I gotta be outside. Oh, I do have a chainsaw, okay. So maybe I have to be outside the shop before I can do it. No chainsaws allowed in the shop, people. All right, so this is the Scorpion King and this is one beast of a machine. It's slow going, so just bear with me here a little bit. We're going to head right up the mountain pass straight out in front of us. And I'll show you what this beauty is all about. Carved down a few trees. But we're not done shopping yet. In fact, since we're here, um, let's go ahead and get our other materials out. We're going to go back in here. We're going to get a big old crane to help load those logs. Trust me. Without, So I don't have a log auto loader available on the Xbox. So the easiest way I found to do it is by getting one of these mods, these aftermarket jobs, this leave hair uh, crane. Uh, this one is the best one. This one, the wheels are on it. It's a little more expensive and it rocks around. Oh, it's just terrible. Get the one that tracks, that's the way to go. We'll select it. The design is forestry that just puts a cage around it. We'll get it to go faster. Not much, but a little bit. <laughs> and we'll take that, and it just drops out of the sky there. And we'll need a log fork. That's a cutter. We want this log fork. This is a swivel type. Uh, I don't like it. This is the one we want. And then what we'll do is we'll use that. And if you're really careful, you can sometimes do two or three logs at a time and drop in the trailer right there. It's still the easiest way to do it. But we don't need that right now. Right now we need to go into the Scorpion and get up the mountainside here. We'll cut down logs mostly. Um, I have been doing quite a bit of work around the, the Commonwealth here, or the co-op is probably more accurate than co-op. We're gonna look for big trees, nice tall trees, because that'll give us the most. And actually, these little ones, I don't like to cut those. I like to turn those into wood chips. So we want the big ones. So let's just go up the 
the mountain here. It's going to go slow because it doesn't, it doesn't even have a beacon on it. Who needs a beacon in the forest, right? So we'll go deep in here a little bit and cut down some trees from the inside, kind of away from everything. We do want to stay close to the road. And I think we'll take a couple of these big trees right here. So we'll turn the harvester on. And then I always rotate here. And lower this down and rotate this scissor saw. So this thing will cut it down, trim the branches off, and cut it to lengths that I choose. Uh, the best length is eight meters. Just like that, that's the best length. So the longer and straighter your your log is, the more you get paid. So a long eight, eight meter log, um, these are a little thin at the bottom. The ones we plant will be at a little thicker base. The, the first couple will probably get us right around $2,200 per 8 meters. So that's uh, that's pretty good. And then uh, we tip it down, and voila, we have just carved ourselves a lot. Now, this is a real thing, and if you YouTube this beast out in the forest somewhere, it's pretty wicked. It does it pretty much just like it shows right here. So we get a pile of four logs. All eight oh, we've got another, so that's a much longer piece and that one did stay sometimes they just disappear a little bit go out to the next log over here tree all the way down as far as you can get cut it tip it up let's just wheel it back a little bit try it fantastic. I love this thing. Especially for logging. So we only got three not quite 8 meter logs. We got two 8 meter logs and probably a 7 meter log out of that tree. Um, let's back up. Let's go over here and grab this big tree. There's a couple of big trees over here. like a little grinder teeth. See, it's got this little teeth right there that spin around. So the one's right there with it rolls it back and then uh, those other teeth that just kind of grinds off the oops, grinds off the branches as it goes through. Now this machine is one of just a few that has an actual suspension that you can see functioning. It'd be tough to get in there and cut that stump out. Our trees come out and we'll get good log, thick logs. And we'll be able to cut four, eight meter pieces from them once they're fully grown. They haven't done anything yet because we haven't had them planted long enough. That was a little bit smaller. We don't want to take them all off of the roadway. We want uh, to be a little more discreet than that. Strip the road down to bare nothing. Alright, 
cover the road out. That's right. You'll have to get these out of the road first. Load that into our truck and then haul them all to the to the lumber mill or the, the pond. Okay, let's just drive this Ponzi up here. This is a Ponzi Scorpion King. Let's drive it up there and turn it off. And now, this is, sometimes this can be a real nightmare. To get hooked onto this fork here. This fork lays down. And so, let's see here. <laughs> there we go. We have to go like that. And then lower it way down. Okay. Good. That wasn't too bad. So we're, we're out of square now. also one of the better mods I've picked up just because of how difficult it is to load logs onto a trailer with either a front end loader or a telehandler. The log ports are horrible. Uh, this works pretty good though. I love the little rattling sound that it has. It's not perfect. It's a little wonky, especially if you get the small logs in there. They tend to bounce around a little bit, and then they all go flying out in different directions. So we need to find our semi here. There it is. Let's wheel it over to the shop. We'll have enough time to throw a couple of loads probably in the trailer. And then uh, we'll just buzz it down really quick to... There's two locations to sell logs. Um, one is the sawmill and one is this mill pond over here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Cutting across the field, but it's better than dealing with the traffic, I promise. It's really nice, you can see the drive shaft spinning there. do is I'll, I'll cut several trees down and also I'm going to cut the grass, turn it into silage so we can make some money and get a start getting a, a head start on our natural fertilizer that we're going to want. 
looks like the little log down south already been taken down. So we can just push this along here a little bit. There one, one of the little logs went all flying out. Open it up. Let's get this uh, little log. Let's just get it out of the trailer anyway. I don't want it hanging around in the trailer. It won't fetch as much. Let's drop it over there. I'll leave those ends out unless they load up nice and easy. And we can turn those ones into wood chips once we get a chipper. Let's kind of squash the pile together a little bit. Aim it for the biggest logs that we can get to. I don't think you're supposed to run into the trailer with a bunch of big logs on your crane. Come on now. Easy, easy, easy. No, no, no. It's freaking out. Just like that. And let's just open that thing up and just let it drop. Oh, we're going to lose one over the side. Oh, maybe not. It's okay. So it's not perfect, but I can tell you what, at least you get two or three at a time, which is way better than just one at a time. Or turning them all into wood chips. It takes just as long, well, it doesn't take as long to be wood chips, but your trailer fills up a lot faster with wood chips. About, probably about four trees would do 70,000 liters worth of wood chips. Four full-size trees. Um, that is a way to... There we go, that's what we want. We want to be able to come down a little more square. We've got some little logs in there that could really cause us trouble. Okay, I'm gonna drop these in and then we'll go down to the mill pond real quick so I can show you where that's at and you know, I'll do a lot of this, like I said, I'll do a lot of this off camera just because it's tedious and it's time consuming and I don't want you bored out of your mind because all I'm doing is cutting down logs. I actually enjoy it now that I have this crane arm. Um, before getting the crane arm, I did not like logging for the crane. I only did wood chips, but I, I really enjoy it enjoy doing this um, yeah it gets a little frustrating because things get a little sideways on you but uh, for the most part and let's strap those in so they don't go anywhere we have to find a way to turn around out of this forest here without getting stuck that's not the way to go funky steering mechanics of the game. You know, if, you, uh, if you have a wheel, then you can try and get rid of those dead spots. But uh, you can't get rid of the dead spots with a controller, so you have it, and then all of a sudden the thing snap turns on you, and everything goes all bad. We'll just cut across this big meadow here. this particular spot you can what you can do is you can either back in which I don't recommend backing in unless you know exactly or what we can do is pull up now with this trailer here I can do this because it's tips take the straps off and then hit unload and those let the driver's side uh, rails go down 
and then boom, as soon as they hit the water, our money starts rolling in. And then Menlo and we'll have to give this one a nudge and give this one a nudge. Come on, roll in there. <sighs> you can do it, you can do it. There it goes. Okay, so yeah, we got $2,300 for a couple of them, almost $2,400, a couple of $2,200. Let's take a look and see what kind of money we just made selling wood. All right, so sold wood is right here. So that little bitty low granted is $17,000. So yes, once we start planting our own trees that are all the same length, and they're all in one spot, it's very lucrative business. And as part of the part of the playthrough is going to be is well, we're trying to we provide building materials for local construction and wood chips for heat or bio or yeah bio heat uh, even to the garden center for people that want to you know tear up all their grass and lay some wood chips down with some white rocks or something. So anyway, that is logging uh, or forestry, the logging portion, kind of 101. And when we get ready to do chipping, um, I'll show you that as well. And it's pretty easy because there's, you don't need as much equipment. Um, don't need the crane. We definitely don't need this crane. We just need a chipper. And I'll just show you in here where the chippers are. We go back to forestry. We're going to get this big chipper here. So we need a chipper and uh, the tipper and the IT runner trailers um, and then you just take that take the Ponzi and go down to two meter logs and trip two meter logs and just drop them right on the belt that grinds them up and throws them in the back of the cart that's chipping uh, but anyway that's uh, we're going to do most of the chipping we'll be doing with those uh, poplar trees anyways not uh, not the logs because we don't want to waste good logs um, I think depending on how your wood chip program goes um, because the price fluctuates on wood chips you know 353 and 316 if we took a load of you know 40,000 wood chips on there then it would go down but the prices never ever change for logs you know you get a lot you get a log and if it's straight and it's long and it's big you get the same price every time you know uh, so the price never changes that's why I find it pretty lucrative to do um, to do logs. Now the only difference is is to get good price for logs you want the Ponzi which is expensive. You do not need that for for just wood chipping logs. If you want you can cut the chance yeah, right now. Real quick and this will be the last step of this video and it's on against the time. You can just cut the tree down with your chainsaw here like so. I'm not going to cut it down because I don't waste it because I don't have a chipper. It falls over then you take you turn your chainsaw this way and you cut all the branches off by walking the trunk then you have to cut it into little bitty pieces no more than one meter because uh the, like this big chunk right here one meter is more than you can carry you know so you end up with these little these little chunks of wood and then the farther up the tree of course the narrower the thinner the wood gets the more you can carry so anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching. I'm going to do some of this and do some silage bales, and we will catch you on the next video. Thanks.